Well, good morning, sir. Um, we want to thank God for an opportunity like this. It's so nice to have you with us. Um, can you just say what to welcome our brethren, just to say hello uh, before we, we have a couple of questions to ask you. So if that's okay with you, just to say hello and hi. Yeah, to all the brethren, uh, I want to say good morning. And uh, it's joy uh, being here for this uh, uh, brief interview. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, it's a um, it's a twenty fourth year anniversary of uh, Heaven Glorious Embassy, uh, a church who, by the grace of God, uh, the Lord used you to be an instrumental part of this work. The very first question is, uh, how do you feel knowing that a parish that God used you to start in you know twenty one years ago is celebrating twenty uh, fourth anniversary this October two thousand and fifteen? I feel great and also um, I return our glory to God that um, he started the work 21 years ago and also he kept the work for 21 years running. Uh, I feel quite uh, good, quite great and uh, also I, I return to the Almighty God all the glory. Amen. 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 Well, I, most of the members are actually curious, but most importantly for our audience, is it okay if you can just tell us how this all started? Um, our father in the Lord, the General of Osea, uh, early 90s, um, was encouraging the church, particularly the modern churches then, to go into foreign missions, uh, but we were foot dragging because we didn't know how we were going to start off. Uh, that hadn't been done before in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Um, but as we were praying, <clears throat> then I was in the Keja, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, you know, that is known as the Keja, but now. Uh, called the Firstborn Family. Okay. Uh, I, I was the one in charge of the family then of the Democratic Center of God in Keja, uh, based at Acme. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> one of the, in fact, the first, <coughs> excuse me, the first modern church of RCCG mm -hmm. by God's grace. Um, so, as we were praying, as we were planning, as we were thinking, what do we do? By God's grace, um, we found out that uh, uh, we have some of our of the brethren, you know, uh, who were visiting the U.S. Wow. Dallas, in particular, they were working in some of the oil, you know, com yeah. companies. Right. And, uh, so that we, we got talking, and, and uh, one of them in particular, uh, who is now a pastor in RCCG, was a brother then, wow. uh, Pastor Akio Shinobi, wow. uh, also was coming to Dallas. He was an anointing company then. So we got talking and we got planning and decided that, <clears throat> okay, since they, yeah, we didn't know <clears throat> anybody, you know, anywhere outside Nigeria, and wow. uh, all right, we now have some brother who, through their job, they, you know, they visited. Uh, Dallas and you know, can we start off in Dallas and you know mm. that, that was how uh, uh, we began to plan wow. um, uh, and so we we now I had to you know go and um, seek for a visa <laughs> and thank God I got a visa wow. and so we planned my visit first visit to the US was when Pastor Akio Shinobi would be in Dallas wow. and he was already actually there ahead and so we've told them to begin to do a ground work. And so I traveled out of Nigeria, I think towards the end of uh, September uh, 1994, um, landed in Dallas, um, uh, should be, I um, can't remember the date, but um, it was, should be on a Friday, and we wanted to start on on the Sunday. Wow. This, 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 you know, after I arrived, uh, by then they hadn't actually gotten a place, you know. But yeah. by God's grace, as we make some declarations, as you know, we urge them. By Saturday, 
of my arrival, we've gotten a place wow. uh, to start it, and um, it was um, a hall <coughs> in Days Inn, mm. Rigoro, mm. I-25, I still mm. remember, wow. yeah, Days Inn, but by now they've bought up the hotel, but another company has bought up Days Inn, uh, Rigoro, um, and so we've um, had an agreement with them, I think they were charging us about $50 per use then, you know, mm. uh, and so we got started the first Sunday in October, that should be October 2nd, mm -hmm. uh, 1994, the first service wow. uh, in, 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 the, in Dallas uh, Metroplex oh, by, wow. by Gospel. That, that, that was how it started. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, it's, it's amazing that, you know, you, you, you remember all the details. That's, that is awesome. Good that time, is great. Time, this is uh, exciting. Um, what, if you don't mind me asking, what was the background for naming the church Heaven's Glorious Embassy, Heaven's Glorious Embassy, can you recollect, you know, the inspiration towards that? Well, I would say um, that um, the name was given by Pastor uh, Ajibike Akinkoye, who took over from me uh, after. I had uh, I gone back to Nigeria. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Um, but I know it's been over 20 years, 21 years to be exact, but do you still remember how many people were at the first service? Um, maybe their names or perhaps if there is one or two of them that you know and where they are today, there are no <laughs> more in Dallas. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I think we were about 12, wow. 11 or 12 people who were at the first service. Um, if I'm still able to get some pictures, I would uh, <laughs> make them available. Okay. <laughs> About 11 or 12 of us were at the first service. Okay. And um, the only soul of that day, I still remember him because to today he has remained a son, wow. uh, Francis Bassey. Uh, it was the only soul, uh, the only, the first fruit wow. of, <laughs> wow. of, uh, of the work in Dallas. Um, uh, after Francis Bassey, Pastor Akinyo Shinobi was there, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> uh, some other brethren from some of the oil companies, which I can't pick their names. Wow. You know, yeah, it's, it's, was, been, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's yeah, been a long time. Yeah. Um, how long were you in charge of the church and, you know, well, why, why did you have to leave, obviously, but, you know, how long did you oversaw the church before you left back? All right, thank you. Um, I, I, I came to come and start the work to also see the work uh, uh, take off successfully. Uh, apparently, I, I, I wouldn't be able to, to stay. stay back because I have my work back in Nigeria. I was coordinating the churches in the Keja family then. Okay. Um, so after the the takeoff, uh, that first Sunday in October, uh, 1994, um, I could recall that uh, uh, I, I still I still talk about it today. Uh, you know, I I had people around me when we started that Sunday, mm -hmm. familiar faces, wow. those from Nigeria you know, and all that, and I felt oh wonderful we'll be able to carry on together, you know, and and but by between that Sunday and the next Sunday, they have all travelled out of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They both traveled the outside and I would I was remained with only the first fruit. Oh my god. Who then was in Dallas, you know, for you know uh, Francis Bassey. And um so that second Sunday, the first fruit of last Sunday became a walk automatically. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It became a walk automatically because uh, you know, so maybe as I preach you would take the offering. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. yeah, so we, we started um, that way uh, and um, now the critical aspect is who will take over this mm. work mm. after I have returned mm. so that this work will not die. Mm. And as I was thinking, praying, 
I, 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 you know, I knew that I would need someone mm. who was already familiar mm. with the U.S. Mm. system, right. terrain, right. culture, and all that, mm. as well as someone who would need, who would have issues mm. with visa. Mm. So as I kept praying and thinking, my mind just went straight to Pastor Ajibike Akinkoye, mm. uh, who schooled in the U.S. Mm. and uh, had probably also worked in the U.S. and, mm. and that, that was it. I just put a call through, wow. Wow. called him, and I think he was just going about his business. <laughs> uh, he must be around a papa where the call landed. Oh and I said, Pastor Akinkoye, go and dust your passport. Oh my God. <laughs> You are coming to the U.S. I mean, it was taken about what's about. So I told him, I you know, shared with him, and I said, he said I should give him some time. And you know, so he got back to me. He was ready. You okay. know, went to the embassy, renewed his visa. Uh, so as I was spending about a month mm. in Dallas, he was coming, coming in. in. Okay. Now he came in and spent also about a month. Wow. You know, up to like uh, probably end of December 1994 or, mm. or, or early January 1995 because he had to go back home and settle his family, his mm. business and all that. Mm. Okay, and so I then came back in January 1995 mm. to come and do three months mm. stretch. And within those three months, by God's grace, the Lord helped us to um, put the work together ready for inauguration. Wow. 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 And so by April 1995, our Father and the Lord flew in to wow. Dallas to come and inaugurate the Redeemed Presenter of God, the first church wow. in, in, Texas, in Texas, and I think the third in the entire US uh, um, you know, continent. continent. Yeah. Wow. The first church I believe was that in Detroit by Pastor Father the mm -hmm. second one was uh, uh, by Pastor Olu Obed in Florida mm -hmm. before the church later moved to uh, New York mm -hmm. and the third was the one wow. uh, planted in Dallas, uh, Texas. This is, uh, yeah. this, is, this is remarkable. Yeah, so after the inauguration, I then returned back to Nigeria and Pastor Ajibika Akinkoye okay. and now also come back to continue the work. That was how the work continued and I was back. Wow. Yeah. That's this is remarkable. Yeah. This is remarkable. In fact, they it's this is historic. <laughs> yeah, we thank God. Um, well, this is going to be very exciting. The next question, actually, but we just want to know how you feel. Twenty-one years after coming back to Dallas this uh, week and seeing the church that the Lord, by the grace of God, used you to get started. How do you feel? seeing the church the way it is now, uh, Heaven's Glorious Embassy. I feel great, feel excited and uh, with full of thanks to God mm -hmm. that that work that started 21 years ago, the Lord kept it. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking of 21 years. I, I give God all the glory for what He has done. Mm -hmm. It was from there we came to Houston mm -hmm. You know, through Pastor uh, Toya Dimola then, mm. who also was with us in Ikeja mm. and relocated to the States. Mm. And, and so we organized that he would come to Houston to come and start the work in Houston. And yeah, that was how RCG came to Houston. Wow. You know, it was from the church wow. in Dallas, Heaven wow. Glorious Embassy. Wow. And so when you look at, you know, what the Lord has done, it's not just Heaven's Glorious Embassy, mm -hmm. but from that, That's you know, right. little work, you know, we've had, I mean, uh, the, from the record I, I got, you know, the RCCG has about uh, 70 churches in Dallas Metroplex now, and also here in Houston, about 70 churches, right. and of course you can continue to mention, you know, where the churches have spread to from what right. the Lord started 21 years ago yeah. in Dallas. So I feel great and also yeah. full of thanks to God yeah. for the opportunity that he granted us to bring the work out of Nigeria to the States. Wow. In fact, um, I believe that uh, every member of Heaven's Glorious Embassy will find this very, uh, very uh, exciting and challenging 
you know, it's really when cohorts to do this work. I have just two more questions, sir. Uh, for new people that are just joining the church, please, sir, can you tell us your position in the church, RCCG worldwide, uh, especially in Nigeria? And um, if you don't mind, how many churches are currently under your, you know, under your leadership? Um, by God's grace, I'm one of the special assistants to the General Overseer, okay. uh, the Dim Christian Church of God. And um, I have been posted out of Nigeria since uh, 2010 mm -hmm. to Southern Africa, one region okay. based in Zambia, okay. to coordinate as a regional pastor of okay. five nations uh, the nation of Zambia, Malawi, Angola. Uh, Zimbabwe and uh, Madagascar mm. um, <clears throat> and um, those are the countries and we have our churches in all those countries. Mm. In Zambia alone we have uh, an average of about 90 churches and, mm. wow. and but the, the consultation of our churches are in Zambia okay. and uh, what the Lord is doing his work also in the all of four countries. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a great honor to have you here, sir. God bless the Lord you, will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the last question. Right, um, please, sir, can you release a word of blessing over the current pastor, his wife, and the entire church of Evans Lawrence Embassy as we celebrate uh, the 21st anniversary? And if the Lord has given you a particular word to the church for this time, please, can you share? <laughs> I thank God for 21 years and on this 21st anniversary, um, as I give glory and praise to the Almighty, I ask Him to move the church to a new level, a new horizon that would uh, noise the work in this church, Heaven's Glorious Embassy, abroad, yeah. where by God's grace the Lord will begin to use us not just within the US but outside mm -hmm. the, the US mm -hmm. will begin to impact lives mm -hmm. the way we have never done before. At 21, we have we are more than being of age. Mm -hmm. um, this will be my word of uh, um, counsel and uh, charge to the church in Heaven's Glorious Embassy that as the Lord uh, brought us from Nigeria to uh, get this work here uh, started, the Lord also expressed that we will not just remain here mm -hmm. uh, but we will also go to the uttermost part of the earth mm -hmm. and spread the work and spread the good news. Mm -hmm. uh, so at 21, I want the church to now begin to strategize on how do we begin to launch out mm -hmm. uh, beyond the continent mm -hmm. uh, uh, to go and impact lives. Mm -hmm. And for the present pastor, Pastor uh, John Omewo, mm -hmm. I, I ask that uh, the heavens over his head will be open wider, mm -hmm. uh, as well as his wife, that uh, God's glory will light upon them afresh, mm -hmm. the wisdom they need to move the work further than it has happened, mm -hmm. that the Almighty God will load load them with the wisdom Amen. and that um, together with him and his team that, um, they, f they, they work together in as one in unity Amen. and uh, and um, allow the name of the Lord to become glorified the way it hasn't happened uh, after this 21st anniversary to the congregation congrat uh, say congratulations Amen. as uh, as well as I also congratulate the pastor pastor John Omewo and the entire congregation. Congratulations for 21 years. Um, I believe it is time now for us to look at where we ought to have reached uh, and take off from the point where we are now and go beyond where we ought to have reached as a church. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. The Lord, uh, the Lord will honor you. Thank you so much, sir. We're very excited to have you. And I want to also congratulate our Father in the Lord, uh, the one who the Lord used to push all of us out there, and um, and to God be the glory that uh, Dallas, where the church came into. Mm. 
21 years ago has now become the headquarters wow. of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in North America. Yes, All glory be to God. Amen. And I give thanks a lot to the vision of our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboye. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank God you. bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. Amen.